Hi kids. So today I'm going to go over how to draw a snowman. I'm going to start my drawing in pencil and then I'm going to go over the lines that I want to keep in Sharpie. I am going to make, let's put this right here, just a head and body. I know some people add three segments for the snowman, but I'm just going to do two. So the head and then the body. And because they're you know, like kind of smooshed together, you'll overlap the spheres. And then this one can get tucked down into a pile of snow, like a little snow hill. So you don't actually see the entire snowball sitting on top of the entire other snowball. They get smooshed together like this. So we'll have something like this. And then we'll give this one a fun little hat. And I'll maybe have it like kind of flop over to the side, put a pom pom on it. And I'll tuck that down on the head. And then a scarf. And we'll give it an eye. We'll give it a carrot nose. Maybe no mouth on this one. And then I like adding branches for the arms. Okay, so now let me show you how this would look with the Sharpie. It'll make a little bit more sense. So put the hat on. Using kind of a fuzzy squiggly line for the pom-pom and the fluff because the hat has that like fluff on it in my mind. And then I'm going to do the nose next because if it crosses the barrier of the head and I put the head in first, then I won't be able to draw the nose. So let's do this. Round it at the back, kind of squiggly up to a point. Okay, and then now I can bring this down to it, and yeah, it goes behind it. I'll put in the scarf. I'll give the scarf some of that fringe. And then this should come down to meet the scarf this part of the body, this part of the body, and the only reason I can get away with this is because the branch is really just the one line. So I can draw it right through. Let's put that in there, like that, and then this here, like that. Come out a little smaller there, and a little wider back there. And give it, whoop, my hair is falling. Give it some eyes. And if you wanted to do the mouth, it would be dots of coal like this. I know we don't really use coal anymore, but it isn't easy to draw like a real mouth on a snow person. So now maybe we'll put some stripes in here. This is fun because then when you color it, you have more to color. Like that, and maybe the stripes in the hat too. Okay. Now, for your background, obviously you can put anything you want back in your background, but you could put some hills of snow behind it as well. And snow really isn't white, kids. It's um, got reflective components, so it's going to have some blue, some purple in the shadow parts. It might have pink, you know, like reflecting off of a setting sun sky. So you really don't have to leave it white. And now if I'm going to put a fence in, start with the top. So here's my horizon line, right? 
So let's say I have one of these fences that has openings for the poles to come in, the posts. Yes. And then I can kind of put that down in the snow. And then my next one will go in here. To here. that down in the snow and then I'm kind of picturing this as a hill so I'm starting to curve these over and I'm bringing the top down like they're getting shorter they're not really shorter if you were to like walk along them they would be the same height but they're shorter in my drawing and getting closer together If you don't have a hill in yours, then yours would just stay straight, but they would still get smaller as they approach the horizon line. So I'm going to add one more back there. All right, kiddos, I like it. Let's see, I'll put a little snow through here. Only in the negative space. Remember, don't draw through your your beans, that would be unfortunate. All right, and then the rest is just fun coloring. All right, I hope this has been fun, enjoy.